Oh, hi. Welcome to the show. We're live today on a Thursday night, and we're going to get our science on. That's why I'm wearing these super fashion-y nerd glasses. So let's start drawing, okay? <clears throat> hello, hello, welcome to Camp Pencil Point. My name is Drew. We'll use nonsense and tomfoolery, and we'll have some fun with our drawing. Sharpen your pencils, we'll start the show. Now it's time for harmonica intro. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters, and dragons and octopi, my name is Joe Fu, and I am the director here at Camp Pencil Point, and I am joined by my very good friend Drew in the snazzy glasses, very nerd chic, and I am also joined by my very good friends, the Camp Pencil Pointers, at home. Whether you're watching live, because we're live right now, we're live at 8.02 p.m. Thursday evening. Whether you're watching live or through replay, and it could be any day at that point, whether you're watching live or on replay, we're sure glad that you decided to stop by. If you're live, we're sure glad that you're here on a Thursday evening. It's a little chilly in some places. If you're watching this on replay, who knows what temperature it is. But if you are here live, we're testing out something new. You might be seeing me look down a lot down here. If, because uh, I'm looking at the chat, I have a whole other monitor set up. So monitoring the chat. So if you are live tonight on Thursday, the 15th of March, 2018, say hi. Log in, say hi. I'll keep an eye out for it. If you are watching on a replay, check out our schedule. We'll be going live again next Thursday, so jump in and give us your comments and watch us live. The mugshot today, little festival of the arts, mint tea, keep my voice loose. Hey, I heard a rumor. You like drawing? Do you like the drawing, guys? You're in the right place. Because not only do we draw here, but we encourage having fun drawing through nonsense and tomfoolery. So if you like drawing with to nonsense and tomfoolery, subscribe to our channel. If you go down below in that direction, you can find a subscribe button. If you're watching on replay, there's a little button down in the corner of the video that you could subscribe to us with. Also, up there is a bell icon on the YouTube channel. If you click on that bell icon, you will be notified whenever we go live or whenever we post a new video. So you will always be up to date with everything that we're doing. So a few years ago, we created Camp Pencil Point as a safe and fun place for kids to have fun drawing online we encourage kids of all ages from the ages of three to 30 to 300 i usually get that wrong to sketch along with us and we encourage parents to draw along with their kids because this will come up again it might be quizzed later on because creativity is always better when it's a shared experience. So on that note, some upcoming program notes. I, I'll say note one more time. Note, note, note. Some upcoming programming notes. Uh, Monday, we will be going, not live, we will be posting a, another video, a Otter House activity, which will be a more basic activity, uh, breaking drawing down into simpler shapes and making it a little easier for the beginner to have a jumping on point and for the more experienced artists to get a chance to stretch their muscles. So on Monday, we will be posting a Otter House video and I think Drew is gonna be posting 
something to Instagram tomorrow. Let me pop up Drew's Instagram uh, handle right there. Follow Drew right here on Instagram. I think tomorrow, this is Friday the 16th, the day before St. Patrick's Day, I believe Drew will be posting up um, a call for suggestions on what we should draw on Monday. So we usually get some pretty, pretty amazing suggestions. And our friends uh, Lilo from uh, East Coast, enjoy that snow. Enjoy all that snow. And our friend Jenna from Minneapolis, enjoy that snow, Jenna. <laughs> but I think they have already put in their uh, suggestions for ideas. Uh, so keep an eye out for Drew's Instagram. And he will post tomorrow. Uh, call for suggestions on what we should draw on Monday, and they uh, they never they never fail to make us laugh, make us smile. <clears throat> okay, so speaking of suggestions and speaking of uh, upcoming projects, let's go back a little bit. We'll take a, a couple steps back and we'll talk about videos that we have done already. Uh, this past uh, Monday, speaking of Instagram and such you can follow me let me pop up drew doesn't need all that publicity let's pop up mine real quick right there um speaking of instagram uh we had a call for suggestions and drew put it up on his instagram and we got a lot of really good really good suggestions uh we ended up picking um from our, our camp pencil pointer friends des and lulu uh, we mashed together the idea of the spunky narwhal. So you can set, you watch me draw the spunky narwhal. He's probably over here somewhere. I don't know where he went. He was just here. To, oh, he's right here. Look for him. There we go. Spunky narwhal. There he is. So we drew him on Monday last week, and then we drew um, uh, Mary Poppins. Well, then... Mjolnir, because she is the nanny of thunder. We drew that a week ago on Thursday, and we didn't uh, we didn't do either one of those live. <laughs> those were were both pre taped, and Mondays will be pre taped. But then Thursdays we're going to be pre taped again. So <laughs> so we're going to pre tape the next three episodes of Camp Pencil Point. But uh, <laughs> let's go back to the schedule. So it's going to be a uh, viewer suggestion from Instagram. Follow uh, Drew. Let's pop his back up. Take mine down transition there yeah, there it is so suggestions to drew he'll post something up tomorrow give us your suggestions on what we should draw on monday on thursday i will be doing a, a talk about eggs because we're getting close to easter and i like eggs a lot i don't like drawing eggs at all and i actually am gonna kind of go through a talk a uh, lecture kind of i don't want to say a lecture because that sounds awful but I want to discuss uh, why I am not a fan of eggs, of drying eggs. And you'll see if you tune in next Thursday to the non-live video, you will see why I just like drying eggs. And then uh, Monday we'll also have a, a pre taped video. But then uh, two Thursdays from now, on the second Thursday, we will go live again. So we'll have the egg talk. And then a week later, we will go live again. The subject will be determined later once I think of it. But uh, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll do another Monday video, which I don't. I will probably get more suggestions from people. It'll be Otter House, and then on the next Thursday, it'll be. Uh, it'll have a guest, a special guest, Chef Miker is going to draw for us, and I think he's drawing some Ewoks based on a suggestion from a Camp Pencil Pointer named Chelsea, our good friend Chelsea. So that was a long-winded explanation of what is coming up and what we have done. Speaking of what we have done, uh, I drew Spunky Narwhal on Monday. It was spunky and I posted it up. Did I even? Yeah, here it is. So it's pretty spunky. Let me move over. Let's see, I'm not getting crammed by it. There we go. So there's my Spunky Narwhal. And uh, drew him on Monday. I had a lot of fun. It was, once again, suggestion from Dez and from Lulu. So thank you, Dez and Lulu, Camp Pens Pointers, 
for giving us a giving us a great suggestion. And what was really cool was uh, this was. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna put my Instagram back up there. But what was really cool was uh, this was quickly followed by a post by Emily, who is also uh, she's the bagpipe. She's a bagpipe girl from Camp Pencil Point, but she posted her version of a narwhal. I will put her a link to her Instagram in the show notes below in the description. But she drew a really cool, really cool narwhal. I really liked her a lot. I like him a lot. And uh, after Emily posted hers, then uh, we have Josh posted his. And it's like, a, it was like, it's a thing. It's actually, he didn't know it was a thing, but I guess it's a, the narwhal with a lightsaber. It's an internet thing. So I don't know what, I don't know. But that's really cool. So we had uh, participation from almost all the Camp Pencil Point, uh, the artists of Camp Pencil Point. Uh, Emily and Josh really jumped in and drew some pretty fun narwhals. So we'd like to see what you draw, what you are drawing. And if you've drawn us a narwhal, I'm looking for my hashtag. Got it. Got it. Where is it? Sorry. Live. This is live TV. Live YouTube. Um, if you've drawn a narwhal, if you've drawn anything, please uh, hashtag Camp Pencil Point uh, to uh, your post to social media. Let us all see your great artwork and the Camp Pencil Pointers, Camp Pencil Point artists will all keep an eye out for this hashtag and like and comment your artwork if we come across it. So post often, use that hashtag and we'll see you out there on Instagram. So this is pretty laid back, not as buttoned up. As you can see, I'm it's live. We're live tonight and we're just enjoying ourselves. So uh, one more, I, had, I did get an email from uh, as a direct message from a can pencil order and they said why do you uh, why do you always show the same mugs you drink out of the same mugs which I am drink out of the same mugs every week why don't you ever drink out of the uh, the Doc Hudson mug that's behind you yeah that's right <laughs> and I don't know I have no idea uh, but it's cool it's a cool mug it just sits behind me all the time so I, I, I have no answer for you. Uh, but I would like to, there will be a couple more mugs coming, uh, brand new mugs coming to the show pretty soon. You'll see them soon. And it'd be really cool if we got uh, some Camp Pencil Point mugs very soon. But you see, someone keeps spending our money. So every time, so here's the budget box. This is the box that I keep the budget in. So this is the budget. All the money for Camp Pencil Point goes in this box. It's a lock that doesn't work, obviously doesn't work very well but this is where all the money for campus point goes so what's in it let me open it up oh it's some tape oh it's a sharpie with a rubber band on it oh it's a brand new eraser with a sticky hook on it this is my budget box here's another sharpie that i haven't used with a rubber band on it this is my budget this is the budget for camp pencil point someone keeps taking the money out of this box and going to Florida and to California to enjoy the Disney parks. And this is why we don't have nice things. So I will be getting a new budget box pretty soon and probably filling it, uh, or probably buying some locks that are really strong for it. So once again, Camp Pencil Point has no money. But we can draw. <clears throat> so on to today's drawing. Uh, on a sad note, uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, we lost uh, a brilliant mind, a great scientific mind uh, left our world. And the effects that he's had on us, uh, both scientifically and even his fingerprint on pop culture has been immense. But Stephen Hawking has passed away. And... I want to do a little tribute with this show to him because he is uh, an influential person of this century. 
and I think uh, I would I, I I feel like we should give him a, a, a proper tribute and thank him for all the hard work that he's done uh, all the brilliant work that he's done I should say and um, his discoveries and whatnot and over overcoming um, uh, what life threw at him to to continue being the influential person that he is so uh one of the things that uh stephen hawking is known for study of of black holes and understanding of black holes and to the point where um there's a, there's actual uh, a component of the black hole named after stephen hawking so the, there is a, a thing called hawking radiation and when a black hole it's it's when a black hole like it emits radiation so so you have the black hole it supposedly it sucks everything in and slows down time and everything like that but it also gives off a radiation so that radiation is called hawking radiation and uh as a tribute i wanted to draw a black hole and i wanted to draw uh hawking radiation but you can't really draw radiation it's really hard to do and a black hole actually is, is pretty difficult as well to draw so i threw it out there and thought about it and we we drew and i both thought about it and we had an idea on what we could make what we could use to represent the radiation emanating from the black hole so drew what do you think about what we should use i have one answer for you what comes out of a black hole puppies there you go a puppy of course a puppy represents hawking radiation <laughs> the radiation emanating from a black hole so today we're going to draw a black hole a puppy jumping out of a black hole if you saw the thumbnail for this video you kind of know what it looks like but we're going to draw a little scotty we're actually going to going to draw emily's dog hogarth so we're going to head over to luxo jr you can see the the illo sketchbook right here you can see my my he's not my guy he's like he's just over here the guys are over here uh but we're gonna draw an otter house an octopus house activity today we're getting new graphics for octopus house by the way very soon so we're gonna head over to luxo in a second and we're gonna draw an octopus house activity and in this activity we'll be talking i will be talking about overlap uh creating depth and the uh the basic concepts of perspective and we're gonna uh, maybe a little bit of marker stuff too so we're gonna head over to luxo and let's start drawing guys so here i am at luxo and i'm gonna move my guys first of all out of the way and today i'm going to use my my mechanical pen uh, red lead mechanical pencil I should say red lead um, not nothing nothing spectacular about this uh, but I am using my good old zebra brush which is my go-to pen it seems like so once again zebra brush show notes in the uh, in the description below I will uh, give you the exact name of the pen I also said I'm using char pack markers so I'm gonna use a gray number three or number four i think i'm gonna stick with number four on this one and i said in the sh in the description i said i was gonna mix um mix it around so it was a prismacolor gray number nine it's 90 percent gray so i'm gonna use that along with the char pack chart packs and just for fun i'm gonna use a posca this is a paint marker uh they're fun they're hard to find but they're fun to use so let's just get started in my illo sketchbook I'm gonna draw some simple shapes first of all. And I wanna set the tone right away by making this black hole. And I made it into a cone. I think you can see that. So why am I using a cone? Because um, everything's getting sucked into that black hole. Everything's getting kind of sucked in. So I want a point of reference where everything will be sucked into so i'm actually going to draw those now so just draw in lines around this outer cone to that dot that i just drew on top of that cone so i have an idea 
of movement and where things are going and like a finish point. We'll go on to the fun part. We're going to draw the puppy. And I said I'm going to draw kind of Hogarth. So my famous jelly bean shape that I like so much. And then we're going to go straight to the head. And we'll draw some some hands, some arms, I should say. Kind of modified bean shapes. And then the hind legs, also modified bean shapes. And then the lay the lower legs and the feet also modified beans. Hogarth has pointy ears and a big fluffy tail. So there we go. I want to draw, just give myself a little guide for the rest of this black hole. And I'm going to give myself a little guide for this mouth. And a simple idea for his head. His eyes. And he's got to breathe in space. So big old space helmet to help him achieve breathing in space. So that's it for my pencil. I'm going to move on to my zebra brush pen now. And like I always start with the thing that's closest to me, but this time I think it's going to be that nose. And I started putting texture on immediately. So I shouldn't do, but it's okay. I don't want to get wrapped up in the details too quickly, but it's okay. So I'm going to draw the mouth now and I'm going to keep in mind the shape of the mouth and have it wrap around. And make sure he's got a fuzzy face. Because Hogarth is a fuzzy guy. He's a fuzzy guy. And I'm going to indicate his tongue, which is sticking out, pressing down the glass of that space helmet. So going back to overlap, I think this line is very important because it, it goes over the other side of the mouth. So just that simple indication already shows a little bit of depth. So I think that's very important. And that's why I put that line there. You'll see lines overlapping in certain spots. And that is done purposefully to give the illusion of depth. We got a fuzzy ear happening. And we got a second fuzzy ear happening. And now it's time to put the eyes in. And I don't put the eyes in immediately most of the time. I think that's a mistake people make is putting the eyes in immediately and letting that dictate the rest of the body. I think by putting the eyes in later, you actually get more control over the shape of that face. Just because there's some play with the shape, I'm going to draw that helmet right away. And once again, overlap. I'm going to start this antenna shape kind of inside that helmet to show some overlap. To give it some depth. To, to get the feeling that it's rounded and that this part's in the front. I know his, his helmet's a little loppy, a little lopsided, but it's okay. So 
So there's the lip of the space helmet. Now the now our, our guy could breathe. He's doing okay in space. And here we go to the paw. Once again, a little overlap right here with lines. It shows that this is in the foreground. His heel, the heel of his palm is in the background. It's, it's a question of subtleties, if you will. And it's the little things that help make your drawing. So pay attention to the details, pay attention to where your overlap is happening and exactly what you have going on in your art. His belly, I went straight through with a line just to emphasize that, that turn. And I want to kind of indicate lightly that through that glass. The upper hind leg and then we'll go to the lower hind leg. And then we'll go into a fluffy tail. And once again, overlap, the tail goes wraps behind that helmet. So I could have stuck it right behind, you know, I, should, I could have ended the tail right before the helmet, but now I am showing a little bit of depth. There is this, this part of the antenna on the helmet is actually in front of the tail. So it indicates depth. More depth, there is the hind leg, but because it's in the back, it's kind of hidden. So we're just gonna kind of use that to our advantage, a little bit of texture. Give him some texture as well, because he's a furry guy. Now onto the black hole, and we're, we're gonna start working on an ellipse, which is a circle in perspective. It's a very hard concept for people to understand, but it's also a very effective way of showing depth and showing proper perspective. It's an easier way of telling a story. So when you draw a circle in perspective, there are no corners, which is a common mistake that people make. You should have no corners on an ellipse, a circle in perspective, because circles have no corners in the first place. So this is where this dot is going to come into play because I'm going to have lines going back following those lines going back to that point. And just the subtle change, uh, shift in the plane. When you have a plane that's flat here and then you have another plane that intersects and goes that way, it helps create depth. And this is where the overlap of Hogarth, space Hogarth, will come into play because he is in front of that black hole. And we have the concentric ellipses that we're gonna to use to help finish off this black hole. Still drawing those radiating ellipses around the black hole.
I'm not being too concerned about stuff. The only thing I'm concerned about is there is no corner. on any of the ellipses. All right, so my pup jumping through the black hole, jumping out of the black hole. And we're gonna go in with a char pack gray Give myself a little bit of a shape to work with. I should have done a slip sheet under this, but it's okay. So those of you that watched the Narwhal video, I, if you have not, I encourage you to go back and watch it. But while I was using a marker on the Narwhal, I made mention that if there is a texture that you're trying to achieve, for example, there is a texture to this black hole, you want to get the sensation of a swirl. It's kind of swirling out of control, like a drain. You want to build texture with the marker by going around in that in that motion. Because unless you're working on marker paper, that's totally just kind of smooths everything out. You'll you're going to get some type of streakiness, some type of texture to the marker. So if you're going to get it, you might as well just use it for all it's worth. It's like taking the lemons and making some lemonade. Get some finishing strokes in here. And you can see the reason I like these chart chart packs is because they're they're very uh, they're very moist markers and they will bleed on you if you're not careful but the beauty of them is they give you a, some pretty soft lines when you need it and we're going to do a little bit of blending with my prismacolor you don't need to use a chart pack and a prismacolor you could actually blend with crayolas if you want the problem with crayolas is they'll lose their they'll lose their color pretty quickly they'll get muddy very quickly so you don't want to do that too often. I'm going to throw a little separation, a little indication of separation in, in this guy's face, just to give him a little pop, a little, a little, um, a little value is what I'm thinking of. So now we can go in with the Prismacolor and everyone likes to use the little side. I'm not a big fan of the little side because then it, it, you spend too much time filling stuff in, I think. I just go with the big chisel tip and it's going to go in a little dark. I'm going to make sure that I'm butting up between the light, this white space right here, and the dark. And I'm going to let it kind of bleed out. What I want to do is maximize my contrast. So if I have white, I'm going to try to butt it up against my darkest color.
The other thing you really want to keep in mind when you're using shades of gray is you don't want to use too many shades of gray. A common mistake, I think it's a mistake people make, is they try to put every shade of gray like, like from 0% black to 100% black and everything in between. They actually don't do 0% black or 100% black. They do like 1% black to 99% black and they have every different shade in there and I think that's unnecessary and it gives your eye too much to look at. It's too hard for your eye to make uh, to see everything in all those shades of gray. So I would limit your gray tones to two and a white and a black. You could use the actual white of the paper and you could use the black of the ink and that creates two out of four tones for you. So I would have a light gray and a medium gray after that. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with the dark Prismacolor. This is a 90% gray. And then I blend it out with the lighter chart pack, which is a or number four so it's a 40 percent gray and you can see I'm getting a nice little gradated feel emanating from these and like I said you could use um, Crayolas but Crayolas will change colors on you a little quicker than these guys will. Um, so if you use a yellow to blend, pretty soon it's going to be like every color that you use to blend it with. So you'll have a yellow that when you draw with it, it'll come out slightly orange. Because yellows don't seem to last in Crayolas. So now I'm just going to go in with my marker and not even worry about the black holding line because I would like to give it the sensation that there is radiation coming out, the Hawking's radiation. Softening out so it's not defined by a holding line but still present. But that little pup is our Hawking radiation. It'd be nice if the universe gets engulfed by a black hole, really just gets bombarded with tiny cute puppies. That would be a very ideal situation. I think people would actually look forward to that. All right, he's looking pretty good now. I'm going to go to, as promised, I'm going to go to the Posca marker. This is a big, a gigantic one because I can't find any other one. This is a big, so like in comparison, here's my chart pack. And this is a big Posca. So what's nice about getting uh, paint pens is that they float. They don't soak into your paper. They kind of float. So I could actually go in and put little highlights And they'll show up as white. And even if there's some places where I, my marker bled a little too much, I can go in there with white again to help reestablish that. So he's looking good. I'm going to put a signature on him and call him done.
So there he is. Our Hawking's radiation represented as a puppy jumping out of a black hole. So there you have it guys. There's our puppy who is radiation. Hawking's radiation, if you will. I will post that up on Instagram. Let me throw my Instagram handle up for you guys, JoeFu22. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll be. You could follow Drew. Let me throw Drew's up there too. So there's Drew's Instagram right there. Uh, Drew T. Drockbus. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, hit us with suggestions. Hit us with questions. You could also hit us with questions down below in the comments below of this YouTube when we go into a replay. I don't think that they're, uh, I don't think they're up yet. You could uh, go into a replay though and enter comments below. We'll answer the questions if uh, once they get posted. Um, and that's about it for tonight. We drew a puppy. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're sure glad that you stopped by. Tune in to Instagram tomorrow for Drew's call for suggestions. If you have a good suggestion for what we should draw on Monday, please, please let us know. You could follow all of us on Instagram. Let me throw mine back up. But you can follow Drew T. Dracobooks. You can follow Joe Food 22 You can also follow Emily. You can follow Josh on Instagram. I'll post their Instagram handles up uh, in the in the notes below once this finally goes live. Once this finally posts, I should say. Um, and subscribe to Camp Pencil Point. So subscribe to us on YouTube. And you'll be always notified when we uh, post a new video or when we go live. In fact, if you click the bell icon that's up. Whoop, I covered My logo covered my hand. If you click the bell icon that's up there. You'll be notified instantly once we go live. And you'll be notified instantly once we post a video. So please click that bell icon and subscribe. So if you're watching in a replay, there's a little button down there that you can hit and subscribe. So subscribe to us already. Just do it. Come on. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us again. Thank you for joining us. It really means a lot to me that you stopped by and took the time and drew a little puppy jumping out of a black hole. I think art does a lot to help us as a world. I think it makes the world a better place. So thank you for joining me and drawing with me. And I encourage you to go out and draw a lot on your own and post it up to social media and use the hashtag Camp Pencil Point so we can all see your beautiful artwork. And we like to see how you grow and how you develop and how you become a better artist. Never stop striving to be best, to be better than you are now, because there is no perfect artist. No artist ever hits, achieves that level of being absolutely perfect, but we all strive for it. And the best thing we could do is constantly drawing and constantly creating artwork. And by doing that, we become better artists and we learn a lot and we could possibly teach it to other people. But we create artwork for many other people to enjoy. And that alone means everything. So go out and make this world a, a, a better looking place. Once again, thank you for joining us tonight, this Thursday night. Or if you're watching on replay, whatever night it is. Remember to draw 20 minutes every day. This will keep your pencils dull but your skills sharp. Remember to support the arts and support your favorite artists by following them on social media, liking their stuff on social media, sending a nice comment to them or a compliment and sharing their artwork and giving them proper credit. Finally, most importantly, never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep drawing.
Pop ace, 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 pop